This next video, we got Ludwig Klein taking on Jai Herbert. And both these fighters have had inconsistent runs in the UFC. They're coming off impressive performances, though. Jai Herbert, he has won two of his last three. He did lose his first two in the UFC, but he beat Kyle Nelson in a kind of lackluster decision. Hopefully in this fight, he can get back to his usual self because he did have to bounce back from getting knocked out. And Ludovic Klein, he's won two in a row. Got an upset win in his last fight. He actually was a pretty big underdog and got the victory. And he's 3-2 and two in the UFC. He's on a two-fight winning streak. So beating Jai Herbert would kind of cement him as a real lightweight because he's bounced between 145 and 155 and make him a threat to that bottom half of the top 15. But this fight should be competitive. Both fighters are primarily strikers. I expect Ludovic Klein to take the center in this fight, be the fighter walking his opponent down. Herbert's going to try to use his speed, ability to move in and out and counterpunch. He is the longer fighter. Klein is southpaw, so I think he's going to throw a lot of body kicks. And I also think the leg kicks are going to be available. Herbert stands heavy on his lead leg. And Klein should try to put Herbert's back against the fence and then let go with combos clinch. And Jai Herbert should try to use his movement side to side, not stay stationary. Pick at Klein's with jabs, crosses, get his range, and then put some power on some shots. And I'll throw more kicks than usual if I were Herbert. See if I can land the high kick. And as far as wrestling goes, Klein has the edge, especially in the cage wrestling against the fence. I don't know if it'd be smart to shoot in on takedowns on Herbert because he does have a solid front choke game. His takedown defense is pretty good, but I do think Klein can hold Herbert against the cage. And if either fighter gets into top position, I think they're probably going to win that round. Cardio-wise, both guys have good cardio and they're dangerous, explosive. They both show knockout ability. They've shown head kick knockouts. So it's going to be a fun fight, but I'm going to give it to Klein. I think his pressure, his kicks, his cage pushing clinch work is going to edge him in a decision. I think Klein is more durable, so I trust him in the striking if it becomes more of a war as well. And this fight could play out low volume and very close, so I'm not too interested from a betting perspective, but... I'm going to give it to Ludovic Klein to win via decision.